What's up guys, Malachi here. Today, I want to talk a little bit about salmonella. You know, that super terrifying disease that you get from undercooked eggs and chicken. Personally, I've never had salmonella, and I don't know a single person that has ever gotten it either. I'm also not a doctor, so take what I say with a grain of salt. The reason I'm making this video is that earlier today I was eating some runny yolk eggs in a sandwich that I made, and I noticed that my eggs were a bit runnier than usual. Naturally, I panicked and threw my sandwich in the microwave for about 30 seconds to make sure the eggs had cooked completely. This was quite successful in terms of cooking the eggs, but then I had to deal with soggy bread, and overall I would say that I degraded the taste of my sandwich by about a thousand percent. Here's the thing. I have no idea why I acted with such paranoia and haste, thinking that I immediately contracted raw egg disease and would be shitting my heart, my heart out for the next week or so, as long as the salmonella bouts last. And I know I'm not alone in this thinking. Think about how paranoid you get when you're cooking chicken or eggs, how as soon as you get raw chicken juice or uncooked egg white on you, you rush to wash it off in the sink like it's going to eat through your skin, like fucking xenomorph blood. For Christ's sakes, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Sylvester Stallone have both ingested hundreds if not thousands of raw eggs in the past, and they have never gotten sick from it. Now that might be because one is a robot and the other one is an unstoppable soldier, but still, there's no anecdotal evidence about them getting sick from it. Don't get me wrong, I understand that raw meat carries germs and diseases, but I'm willing to bet that you have eaten raw cookie dough, brownie batter, or cake, every single one of you. When I was a kid and my mom would make cake or brownies, I would actually fight with my brothers over who got to lick the whisk, spatula, and dish used to mix the raw ingredients. Why was it that I could not only touch raw eggs back then without contracting salmonella, I could actually ingest them. Although, to be fair, I do live by the five second rule as well, so maybe I have a strong immune system. Anyways, those habits as a kid carried over into adulthood. You're goddamn right I still eat the batter of whatever I'm baking without any fear of getting sick. I just don't understand why as a society we are so absolutely terrified of this illness. People react the same way when their chicken is slightly uncooked in the middle. You see a little pink, and you either nuke the bejesus out of the chicken, or you throw it back in the oven for way longer than it needs to be, just to be sure it's cooked. Looking back at how dry and tasteless I've made chicken in order to ensure that it's cooked just doesn't seem like it's worth the hassle. So, I finally looked it up and found out that salmonella, if contracted, which is already a minuscule possibility, remains in your system for about four days. Worst case scenarios being that you will either have diarrhea and vomiting accompanying other flu-like symptoms for those four days. Records have gone on to show that you may exhibit minor symptoms for up to a month after inoculation. So I'm pretty sure it's basically just a souped up version of the flu, and the best part is that salmonella is only deadly towards children under five primarily. You know, the same age kids that are in the kitchen helping bake and licking the utensils afterwards for doing such a good job with helping. I really don't know where I was going with this, but I think that I'm going to try and be a little bit more rational when it comes to believing that I will get this disease. Maybe not freak out as much if raw egg touches my counter, not immediately try to torch the contaminated area like it's a blood particle from John Carpenter's The Thing. Well, that's all I got for you guys right now. Feel free to subscribe and let me know in the comments about all of the factual evidence that disputes my claims. Thanks for watching. Peace out.